if the disciples invented the story of Jesus's resurrection, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. They did a terrible job. Yeah. Well, speaking of latest evidence, in your book, you have a brand new argument for the resurrection. That's a very bold claim. I am excited to hear about. <laughs> uh, you heard, tell us about this brand new argument for the resurrection. Okay, so I build on it. Uh, reason number one is society is transformed everywhere. The resurrection mm -hmm. is taught. And I've, I've written an entire book on that called Unimaginable. I give 10 ways in which the world would be dramatically different. And reason number one um, if there was no resurrection. Reason number two is that Jesus called it on the third day. I mean, at least I joke mm -hmm. with audiences when I teach this, if the early church had a hashtag, it would be hashtag on the third day. Yeah. Uh, Jesus had this wonderful habit as Messiah where he would take these Old Testament passages, he would messianize them, which means he would apply them to himself as only the Messiah could do. And like for one, one example in my Bible open to Hosea 6.2, after two days, he will revive us on the third day, he will raise us up that we may be before him. Well, Jesus quotes Hosea 6, 2, and 3 throughout his messianic predictions of Mark 8, 31, Mark 9, 31, Mark 10, 33, and 34. Reason number three, Jesus adumbrates, I love this word, his future mm -hmm. resurrection. He, he gives us, uh, he foreshadows it by performing resurrections from the dead in the mm -hmm. Gospels. In the scriptures, we have eight resurrections, three in the Old Testament, three in the Gospels, two in the book of Acts. Jesus performs three of them, Jairus' daughter, the widow of Nain's son in Luke chapter 7, and of course, Lazarus in John chapter 11. So he shows that he himself has power over death. So those three reasons, I think, are helpful. They build on one another. They all come from the Gospels. They're historical. Um, but reason number four is what is an original contribution to knowledge and from body of proof. And this rests on uh, about 12 years of academic research. The, dis the disciples are Jews. The first, the first Christians are Jews. The Jewish community, and the best way to explain this, Elisa, would be uh, Judaism is a coherent religion, meaning they believed in a general resurrection someday. Elisa, if you were a great rabbi and uh, you blessed many people, you might have even performed miracles, and then you died as a martyr's death, um, we could honor you. In fact, um, we could even think about your writings and we could talk about what a great moral teacher you are. We see this in the apocryphal book of Second Maccabees. The widow's seven sons are all martyred in Second Maccabees. Um, and they're honored. I mean, this was a story Jesus would have been well aware of. It would have been a rallying call mm -hmm. uh, for Jews in the intertestamental period. But Elisa, if you're one of our rabbis and you died, um, we would have no reason to make up a story that you came back to life physically from the dead because yeah. we don't need it. We believe someday you'll be resurrected with us. We honor you as a great teacher. You may have thought you were the Messiah, and maybe you were, kind of. Uh, we have no psychological motivation to invent a resurrection narrative because Judaism doesn't need it. The religion is coherent, meaning we just don't need it. We don't need to go there. We could have everything but the resurrection and honor Jesus as a great prophet or honor you as a great teacher if we wanted to. Do you see what I mean? There's no yeah, yeah. psychological reason to come along and just make it so complicated, yeah. make it so ugly in the Jewish mindset. Yeah, it, it almost seems like, you know, that idea that, you know, they, they would try to be smoothing things over, making up a story to resurrect Jesus. Like, it's really kind of a modern, it, it, it actually wouldn't, you wouldn't even think of that skepticism if Christianity wasn't actually based on a resurrection, right? Because it's kind of like, exactly. if you didn't have that in the backdrop, even you probably wouldn't think to say, well, no. they should have him resurrect him. Like, nobody would think of it, right? No. And I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. And we have to give the ancient community a little bit more credit. I mean, the, the, these were sophisticated people. They weren't going to follow, as Peter said, cleverly devised fables. No, they were eyewitnesses of the resurrection. And um, in the in this, the last chapter of the book, I build on it. I kind of this book is kind of like a video game. It starts easy, then it gets normal, and then it gets hard. Mm -hmm. Hard meaning if I had to do two more PhDs, the last two chapters are what I would do two more mm. PhDs on. So, and one of those was if the I mean the, to say it more clearly, if the disciples invented the story of Jesus's resurrection, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. They did a terrible job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were not creative if they did that. In fact, why can I say that? So really 
stay with me, my, my scholarly hat, I'm an expert in second century Christianity, the extra canonical gospels. And the extra canonical gospels seem to come along and fill in all the gaps that the gospels, the canonical ones seem to leave out. They Mm -hmm. embellish details. Jesus is gigantic. Uh, Polymorphic Christology. Second century Christianity comes along in a very uh, unsophisticated attempt. And it and it would seem appears to add some apologetic fabrication to the first century gospels. The gospels themselves are restrained, sober narrative, which again, smacks of their authenticity. If you're making mm-hmm. something up, why would you make up a story where the disciples left the follower? I mean, left their leader. Right. Uh, you know, you just think you start laying this out. I mean, this was not a winning proclamation, as I've said before. The only reason it took heart uh, is because it actually happened. It's, yeah. it's truth. That's so great.